everyone. How are you? Hi, in case we're just meeting for the first time, my name's Stephanie Canada. Yes, just like the country. And no, I don't live there. Anyways, hi. Welcome to yet another <laughs> mystery pattern unboxing. Oh boy. I am a little nervous for this one and I'll tell you why. So I get a message from my dear friends up in New York that are working on an opera, shockingly. Yay, we love that live theater is coming back. They were like, hey, somebody has a whole bunch of patterns that they wanted to donate, but instead we thought of you. And I went, yes, I will take those, thank you. So after they uh, sent them to me, I said, so exactly what, what am I getting? Am I getting 60s? Am I getting 80s? And they said, well, the lady just said 50s. So needless to say, I'm excited. And <laughs> oh boy, I am, I'm a little nervous because there were actually three boxes. But well, one of them showed up really damaged. So I had to open it to make sure that everything hadn't gotten completely uh, screwed up. Oh, that's exciting. Sorry, y'all. Well, basically my name's Stephanie Canada and no, I don't live there. That's my intro. It's short, it's sweet, it's kind of stupid, but here we are. You have no idea that I, if there were patterns from the 1850s, I would, I, I would lose my mind. Uh, no, sadly, 1950s is what, it, I mean, my assumption, I don't know. But I did have to open the third box because it was so badly damaged. Like one corner was completely caved in on itself. Now, thankfully, that was just because there was dead space in the box. So none of the patterns were actually hurt. And <clears throat> 50s is a loose term for what was in that box. I'm not saying there wasn't some 50s, but I'm now nervous that what's in these two boxes isn't necessarily actually 50s, but that's what I was told. So I could be wrong. Maybe I opened the only box with patterns that were newer. Um, what was inside that box was a whole bunch of men's patterns, which is very exciting. Cause I've had a couple of folks ask me about, hey, can you sell more men's? Can you do more men's content? I'm happy to. So we're actually gonna do one of these cause they're all basically my husband's size. So I'm gonna have him be surprised, open that box on camera. He gets to pick out whatever pattern he wants made for himself. And then I'll go through and we'll, we'll figure out selling the rest of them because that's what they're here for. They're here for me to either use, donate if they're too terrible or sell. So really quickly, for those of you that are, hi, there's 37, hello friends. Uh, in case, you haven't been here, hi, welcome. Uh, we do lots of sewing pattern content on this channel. Lots and lots and lots. As a matter of fact, I just did one yesterday and I don't know why I did this back to back, but here we are. We're just not judging, we're just moving on. Um, That's the wrong button. <laughs> here we go. So if during this stream, you see a pattern that you just are like, I must have this, Please don't, I mean, you can say it in the chat, but the chat we realized after the first one isn't really the best way for me to keep tabs on everybody um, because there was a lot of confusion and who got it first. So what's easier is email me right there, like the North country at gmail.com. You can either send me multiple emails as you see them, or you can send me one big one, but just know I do my best to come in first come first serve and I will do my best to con communicate with everybody either via email, if that's where you contact me, or you can also do Instagram, which is Backroom Finds. So for those of you that know the jam, great, cool, you know what's coming. Um, and because this is a box of 1950s, I'm going to hold off on setting prices like I did for the, the first one where it was like $3 each. Um, if it's like mid 60s and newer, I'll probably still do $3 a piece unchecked. Like if you want it, let me know. Um, anything prior to that though, because those are more my bread and butter patterns that I see all the time that I really love, um, I will probably check those and then we'll just talk. So basically just email me, we'll chat. 
that was a really long and contrived way of saying email me. So there you go. Sorry. Okay. So let's go through and say hello. Good morning. My email name is, I honestly can't 100% take credit for that. I think someone said, wouldn't it be funny if to me? And I definitely took them, took them. I was like, yes, yes, it would. I want that now. Type, 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 type. Anywhere. Hello, Australia. I know we have lots of friends. We've got Cork, Ireland. We've got some Netherlands here. Hello. Um, who else have I seen? I've seen a, lot, a, a fair amount of US of A folk. Um, oh, Karen. Yeah, maybe. maybe I mean, 80s does. Ooh, one of my least favorite sayings. Anyway. All right. Let's do this thing. Enough of me talking. That's not why you came here. Oh, yay, someone from Canada. I always love that. I lo always love when someone from Canada lands on my Canada channel. It's great. Hungry, hello. Wow, all tight. Wow, we got everybody today. Oh my gosh, how, what? I was gonna say, what time is it for y'all? God love your souls for being awake. Russia, my word, hello. Wow, y'all are awesome. Way to be awake. That's That's impressive. I will not judge you if you need to sleep. I understand patterns are exciting, but also so is sleep. All right, I'm going to shut up now. And yes, I named it this time again, and I decided to be a little uh, craft. Uh, crafty is not the word. Okay, it helps if you can see it too. All right. Oh, I might have put that camera way too close. Hang on a second. We're going to... Because if I don't know what's in this and you don't know what's in this, let's let's investigate this together. Slowly but surely, we zoom out. Can you hear the squeaking? Because it's, yeah, it's there. All right. So here we go. I have not looked in this box. We are doing this together. Is it 50s? Is it not? Oh, no. No, those are not. That's, oh, dear. Okay. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. <laughs> Who wants to play the game of what eras do you see? Because I can tell you what eras I see immediately. Oh, boy. I'll let the chat guess for a little bit. Let's open the other side. Oh yeah, nope, no, those that's that's not fifties. It's okay, we're not. I got them for free. We're not complaining. Like my friends thought of me as very lovely. All right, any guesses? No. Okay, great. I'll just go for it. Eighties, uh, possibly. I see one. I think this red one might be eighties, seventies, nineties. Ah. 70s is the strong vibe of this box for me. Like all these yellow along the side here, those are all 70s. These sometimes are 70s, sometimes are late 60s. So I don't see anything that screams 90s yet, but you know, it's a, it, we're gonna find out together. All right. Oh, that might help. I don't know if it does, but we'll try. All right, let's just dive in. Ooh, box. I'm just gonna leave it here unless you guys literally hate this box view or if it gets to be too big of a pain in the butt. We're gonna go with the middle. What do we got? Embroidery transfers. Excellent start. Great, cool, love that. Okay, let's see what it says. For me, sleeve length, top of embroidery finish, top length, bottom of pockets. So you can see there somebody left little notes for themselves. It's very cute. And yes, this is, I do believe, uh, that's 70s. 74. Yes, we are correct. All right. Bam. Oh, that's that's crooked. That's not helpful. All right. So chat, do we enjoy this angle? Do I need to zoom back in? You pick. I don't care. Uh, this is 80s because of that Simplicity logo. Although extra large, we like larger sizes. Larger sizes are good. It looks like this person left a lot of notes because I'm also seeing some pencil marks down here in the corner. And that is just a lovely little, it's not even a caftan, it's just a, what is that? Is that just a nightgown? A float dress? I kid you not. I don't know if you can see that, but it says a float dress, F-L-O-A-T. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Great. We will zoom, friends. All right. Well, then I'll move the box and zoom. We'll go. We'll go back to. Oh, we'll move box set over there. You'll here. We'll flip it and we'll zoom at the same time. So if you get seasick, look away now. 
Oh, that's cute. Here, we'll zoom in. Exciting action here on the live stream. Like I said, if you get seasick, now it's time to look away. Dude, squeaky. Can you hear that squeaking? I really hope not. <laughs> okay, this is cute. This is, there is one graphic designer. I still cannot find their name. And I wish they I could because their artwork is so unique and it's so 70s. This is a great little top. Oh, and it's a large. Excellent. We love large things. Can't see the number. Okay, can we see the number now? <laughs> yep, Squeaky McGee. Yeah, that's that's my uh two and a half dollar tripod here, friends. We 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 are big spenders at the beginning of this channel. <laughs> I have upgraded, don't worry. All right. So that means this large is probably a bust 40, is my guess. Let's find out. Incorrect. Bust 42 for this very sweet McCall 6069. I like that. That's cute. See, occasionally I like 70s things. I just don't make them for myself. All right, let's see what we got next. Oh, my. Oh, there's a little shine on that. Let's Let's angle it so you can actually see. There we go. Family butter from Family Circle 5674. Um, who wants to bet that the top isn't included because the top is the cutest part? Anybody? I was wrong. Okay, good. Right there, it does say front. So hooray. I wonder what size this one is. 12, 14, 16. Not bad. So that's gonna be a bus 34 to a bus 38 because my brain is full of random numbers that really shouldn't belong in there, but here we are. And this one's from 87, this little shiny, shiny one. Moving swiftly along, because we have two boxes and we don't got time for this today. All right, okay. So this is actually Vogue early 70s. Uh, you're looking at Vogue 8267, bust 41, y'all. That makes one, two, these are all larger patterns. I am loving this. Um, and yes, I do believe that like late 80s flouncy style absolutely is back in. So, and it's a good bus size. So this is, this is very good. I like that this is, um, that these are larger bus sizes. So that means that I can get y'all the larger bus sizes that you've been asking for. And also that, you know, I like to sell but sometimes when you find the small stuff, you just gotta sell the small stuff. All right. Boom. Quick sew. 505, a pullover sweater that is torn to crap. Um, supposedly a bust 30 and a, 32 and a half to 45. All right. Um, it looks a little sad and it's been cut. So God knows what's happening in there. <laughs> anyway, well, hello. I am so glad you're here. Welcome. I am going to do you the honor of not attempting to pr pronounce your name because I am fearful that my terribly Midwestern white self will butcher it terribly. So welcome. We are so glad you're here. I know, but you get all the other good patterns. <laughs> that first live stream was all for you. All right. Ooh, ooh. All right, so I get excited when I see this. In case you all don't know, you all, who am I? Y'all, uh, Ann Adams pattern is a mail order pattern. Neem, I love that. I really love that. I'm Stephanie, white bread, middle American, couldn't get any more white. So that's a beautiful name. Thank you for sharing. It's so pretty. All right, sorry, getting distracted. Back to the patterns. Ann Adams. Pattern company started ooh, late 30s. You can wiki me on that one. I don't remember the exact date when it was started. And it did get absorbed into another company. But the cool thing about them is they come in these mail order packets, which normally you find with them. And then inside, if I can get it out, there is the pattern. Oh, that's cute. I like the pockets through here. I like the top stitching detail that runs along the neck and it's a deep V. It's a size 16, which in this, okay, I could be wrong, but I wanna say this is a bus 38. Let me double check for you. If you're ever looking for patterns for bus sizes and Ann Adams, you take the little envelope right here, open it, 
flip it, and it's always somewhere right along here. So for this one, the bust, the size 16 is a bust. 30, oh, upside down. 38 for this one. Cute. Which means that that is definitely going to be the early, the late 60s, early 70s. Next up, ESP. I don't know why. Don't ask. It's been a weird day. Uh, <laughs> all right. So we're looking at a 12, 14, 16. And this looks shockingly like the Ann Adams. Um, because it's got that same like Mandarin collar. It just doesn't have the top stitching along the V, but they must've really enjoyed that style. And these are the weird patterns that if you were to open them up, it would form one big image. Not really sure why they did that, but hey, to each their own. And 12, 14, 16 is going to be a 34, 36, or 38. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's good, solid late 70s, early 80s. Oh, and I know you didn't ask. It's because none of you can respond to me, sadly. But I do have my mug for Pride Month. I got it for Mother's Day from my husband. Yay! And yes, I'm drinking coffee at five o'clock at night. Will I sleep tonight? That is anyone's guess. I don't know that answer. Moving on. Oh my, there's some 80s for you. So we're looking at quick sew 840. All right, this is a 14 through a 20. So again, a nice, good size. Um, you can also pop that collar with the bros. I don't know where that came from. We're just going to ignore that. And please say I, uh, please pretend I didn't say that. So let's see. Those sizes are going to be a 38 and a half through a 43 inch bust. So good size range. Although I will say it also feels quite fluffy like my hair. Thanks, Florida. Um, and it looks like I got trimmed to something, but from my quick glance, I can't tell what it is. But that is definitely 80s. Definitely 80s. Oh boy, speaking of 80s. Hades? No, 80s. All right, we're looking at McCall's 8886 and an extra large. Excellent, love that. Um, I, <clears throat> the, the style isn't quite for me. Uh, this one reads a little prison chic and um, not, not really my vibe. Not really my vibe. A uh, little too boxy for me. I, although respect, there are pockets. It's an ugly square dress. Oh yeah, 1980s was hopping for those. 84 for that lovely thing. Moving on, a men's pattern, huzzah. Oh, a unis... Well, okay, this is the men's sizing, but it's one of those, like, you can either do unisex or not. <clears throat> oh, yeah, most of the 80s patterns make me think Star Star Trek. Absolutely. I definitely found a Vogue that, like, screamed Deanna Troy once. It was amazing. All right, so this one is going to be Simplicity 6249. You're looking at the large size, which is a 42 to 44 men's. It definitely has that magnificent large collar and you can sort of see here that um they actually did the whole collar and tab contrasting and yet matching uh 70s were an interesting time matching had a whole other thing yes 74 for this this fantastic fantastic four fantastic creature i don't know what i was going for with that we're just gonna move on oh Oh, that's crooked. That's not helpful. There you go. Butterick, 3923. <clears throat> At least it has a bow. I mean, it's got a bow. I can't can't hate on a bow. But um, that's a choice. Uh, called a classic V-neck jumper. It's a size 20, so we like that. Hooray. Big sizes. I'm loving this box already. Very excited by the fact that it's a large size. And the size 20 is going to be a bust 42. So I do think you could modify this to slightly look not quite so 80s. <laughs> or if you just enjoy 80s, then hey, great. Fantastic. But um, I, I don't know. But yeah, sort of. It's, yeah, it's feeling very Dolores to me. And that's not a good thing. <laughs> But yes, I, I also enjoy, I do enjoy the purple. Yes. Oh, pinafore. Yep. 
<laughs> All right. Next up. Oh, we just, this must be the section of 80s. Oh my. Okay. You know what? That's not terrible. And I can't get it to lay flat. Okay. There we go. This is a McCall's 9505. Wow. Extra large again. Okay. So it's like a, it's a mini bat wing. So it's going to connect right here at the waist and the sleeve's going to go straight out all in one piece. It looks like I don't hate that actually. That's really kind of cool. I like the fact that you can do the maxi, although I feel like that would be a little off balance to me, but I actually, I would personally probably make this length. I don't know. I might make this out of something because it's also Florida and hot. And can you tell by looking at my hair? Cause I can. Yeah, that one's actually not bad. She says looking at a 1985 pattern, which is not something I would usually say. Moving on. There we go. So simplicity, 7308. This is going to be just the skirt pattern is my guess. Right? Because there's too many blouses in there. <clears throat> yep, I was right. Okay. So this is a size 1820. What's interesting is you could almost use this maxi skirt to pull off the Rachel maxi skirt, sort of. It won't have the same flair, but it would. De it definitely has some fullness. It's not quite the full eight panel uh, Simplicity 9008 that she uses for everything. But it does have a nice, like it's got a fair, it's got six scores, not eight. This one's from 75 and it is an 1820, which means that the waist size, oh, my glasses aren't that good, hang on. Waist 32 to 34 for this one. So a good waist size too. E 70s. All right. Oh my God. What is that? Oh my God. Please tell me this is just some weird. Okay. I think this is just the Hallmark bag, but anybody else? <laughs> I cannot, I cannot with this. What is that? I Oh my God. Okay. I'm assuming there's something in here that is a pattern. Oh yeah. It's loose, whatever it is. Oh, it's a tracing. Oh, that's not helpful. Okay. So this is what I just pulled out. I'm going to pull it over here. So this is what I just found. It's, it's just a tracing that somebody did of some pattern um, with lots of notes on a your community bank's piece of paper. So I'm guessing this blouse is what they traced. Oh boy. Yeah, next secret sewing, send someone this monstrosity and go have fun. Um, only someone who I, they wouldn't, I, I would never want to talk to again. I feel like they would hate me if I did that. Yeah, I, you know, I thought it was precious moments, but I don't know if it is. Oh no, you might be right. You might be right. Cause this lettering down here, maybe, but it has Betsy Clark in the, I don't know. I don't know ne nearly enough about precious moments to uh, be any type of knowledgeable about that. All right. Oh, that's cute. Check that out. Now here we go. So this is going to be sixties. You're looking at a shift. It's got a dart right here along the bust. It is a 20 and a half. We like 20 and a half. And what I find interesting has a bow at the neckline. And then it looks like there's little, it, these could be button tabs. There's some type of placket happening right here, just along the left-hand side. I really like that. Let's see. So 20 and a half means it's going to be like close to my size. Where are you? Yeah. Not helpful. Plus 41 for this one. Um, and maybe factory folded. We'll have to investigate further. It's a little, little sus. Oh no, I'm way too old to say that. It's a little suspicious. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I'm too old to say that. We're just going to move on and pretend that that didn't happen. Oh dear. What, what is happening there? Um, size 20, 22, 24. And something that says walking shorts. All right. 
Um, so I'm going to guess that this lady was, uh, like she was a hardcore sewer because this has got, no there's nothing to this. I don't, I don't know what that is. Don't know. Could figure out, might just pop it onto another Instagram sale. Don't know yet. All right. Y'all, this is great. I'm loving, I'm loving the sizing. We like this sizing. All right. McCall's 9221. It is a bust 38. It's got, sl uh, they're not quite bishop sleeves. They're not, they just got a little poof, a little poof down at the bottom. Nothing too exciting. Uh, so this is a bust 38 and it's a straight shift dress with a nice Peter Pan collar there around the neckline. And this one is probably 69. Close. 68. Off by a year. I don't. This is the third time I've done this. You think I would have boxes on the other side ready for this? I do not. Welcome to the chaos. I put the chaotic in sewing. Is that a thing? If it's not, it might be now. All right. Next, bus 38. Huzzah. All right. Recommended for knits. Good to know. You are looking at just a pretty standard center front shift dress. Not, uh, not even really a shift. It's like a vague A-line. But it's got that really big collar, which I always enjoy. It's McCall's 3101. And I think it comes with the pants. Sure does. Also has pants. Yay! All right. Oh, I found this one before. I like this one. This one's fun. It's a little hard to see from my crappy-ass overhead. But this is... Uh, Oh, right, I'm not supposed to swear in these because I can't bleep it out. Uh, this is McCall's 8865. You're looking at a bus 38 for this one as well, which is also good. So this one is more like a structured shift. What you are looking at, we're going to switch sides here so you can actually see what's happening. There's a tab front right here. You can see on her the clearest. It's tab front and then it just has a neckline right at the top that meets. So it's really quite interesting for that line. Next up, Butterick Crooked 6744. You're looking at 12, 14, 16. Um, MacGyver, if they were a woman? Don't know. Like, that's that's a thing. That'll be, again, a bust 34 to a 38 for that one. Uh, it's just the interesting thing for me about this one is how big the sleeves are on the long sleeve version. That's all. <laughs> Looks like my old school uniform. I never had to wear school uniforms, so I, I, I'm i sorry, but I don't know what that, that feels like. Oh, buddy. Okay, that's not exciting when it's turned over the wrong way. 1950s. Yes. All right, so there are a few. Y'all, I love this blouse. Every time I see it, it's so pretty. So this one is advanced 654. Six, five, three, four. It has got that. It's got this weird like collar accent that goes all the way around. The last time I found one of these, it was missing that piece. And I about cried because like every other piece you can basically mimic with some other blouse. But that one piece, I'm like, oh, man. What's nice about this one is a bus 36. So that's going to be really great. You have the, the sleeveless or the three-quarter length sleeve for this one. So cute. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. I, I like want to check it right now to see if that stupid piece is in there or not. I need a pile for 50s. This is going well. Hi, welcome to the channel. I am Chaos Embodied, in case you didn't realize that already. Oh, yeah. The last two times I did this, I didn't drink water either time. So I'm going to be drinking more water because, <clears throat> yeah, you don't want that. Ooh, uh, hooray, more actual 50s. So this is Butterick, 7455. This is a bus 36. And it looks like, so it's going to come with the blouse, the full jumper dress, or the skirt. Um, yes. So for all of you that are very excited because we actually hit 50s, don't forget, just email me. And you can email me repeatedly, like as you go through and find things that you like, it's totally fine. Just make sure you're including the pattern and the number. So that way we can figure it out together or a very clear descriptor. Um, that's why I try to make sure I, I clearly state pattern and number as we go along. 
But yeah, this is super cute. Oh, I like that a lot. Very pretty. We like 1950s here. Do da, do da. All right. This is just a good standard 50s blouse. I've had this a few times. Uh, this one is going to be Simplicity 3092. This is a bust 36. Now, what's interesting about this one for me is I like all the collar options, which are sort of hard to see on the other camera. But you've got a scallop collar, a Peter Pan collar, and a stand-up collar all together. So that's why I kind of like this one. So this one, the envelope's a little torched. Uh, not quite torched. You, If you've seen torched, you know torched. This isn't quite torched. But it's definitely rough. But the pattern, thankfully, seems to have lived better than the envelope. So that's good. Oh. All right, moving on to post cereal from the 1970s. But, but okay, sure, we're just gonna jump right back. <laughs> so if I remember correctly, this one was actually, like remember when you used to collect box tops and then send them into companies to get things from said companies? I wanna say this was that. If anyone knows that I'm lying, let me know. Uh, but I feel like this is what that was. So this is McCall's pattern. J, terribly creative. Uh, it's a bus size 38, so that's good. And it has that whole flat panel, but then there's a dart right below the bust, and it comes down to a point basically right above the belly button. So that's really nice. It will also have this pants pattern as well. I've got a little smush, but that's because it just got in the envelope or in the box. And I, I cannot tell just by looking if it's factory folded, but that's not a terrible one. Did I mix up my 70s and my 80s patterns piles? Yes, yes, I did. And it's early. This is great. Box one, we're doing great. Moving on. <laughs> McCall's 9138. So this one is going to be a bus 38 as well. Hooray. Now, this is an entire outfit, actually. So you're going to have the blazer, the shorts, um, the blouse, the pants, and the dress. Now, what's probably happening is that you're probably using this dress pattern to make the blouse pattern. But I could be wrong. Let's see. Am I wrong? Let's find out. Nope, I'm not. Dress or blouse, right? Uh, you can't see that. Hang on. Dress or blouse. That's the pants, Stephanie. There. Dress or blouse. I <laughs> Hi. Can I YouTube? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not today, but it's all good. All right, moving on to some more 1950s. Huzzah. Oh, that's cute. Oh, y'all, this is really adorable. Again, now, so it's not like floor me 1950s, but it's very cute. It is a blouse pattern. So you're going to have this option to do an entirely flat panel front blouse. Really pretty standard. No big deal. But I think there is this option to make a raglan style sleeve as well. Let me double check. And this one, sorry, let me be clear. This is Butterick 6985 and it's a bus 38, which we love. Oh yeah, right? Can I get it? Yes, right there. See that little raglan yoke situation? It looks like it's still a set in sleeve for either one, but I like that. It's a really thick pattern for a blouse. Maybe there's more than one thing in there? That happens sometimes. All right, next up we have, cute. This is Simplicity 3051. Again, a bus 38, winning. Now this one is probably, let's see, 60 cents to 65 cents. So that's probably that 60 to 63 range. Um, hello, husband in the chat. How, how are you? Thank you. You, you big, oh wait, that there, there, there's the Ned Canada. There he is. Never fear friends. The husband is in the house. Um, so here we have button up blouse, pleated skirt, and it looks like you can also do the Bermuda shorts as well, which means that this waist for the time frame will be, should be a 20. No, we haven't moved yet. It's still the 30. So this waist for this is a 30 in case you're looking for those larger size shorts. So that's going to be your early 60s. All right. Oh boy. 
There's some more post cereal. We got letter C this time, y'all. So we have got uh, a pounds thinner pattern. Can you sense the side eye? It's there. And then it does have the shorts again. It looks like a button. You can see it clearer on the light one. It's actually a button front dress. And you can also do the pants. Bust 38 for post cereals C. And you just cut it in two lengths. And for the, let's see, at this point, yes, the waist for this one, it's going to be a waist 29, not 30. Oh, we got another alphabet letter. Let's see. Letter G has got some serious French dart. No, fishtail darts? Fishtail darts. So this one is more like maxi tunic town with the pants. Because you can't see it here really because it, it finishes in the pocket. But you can see here, this lady, go the, her dart finishes right below her belt. So it's going to be your good old fisheye dart. Fisheye dart? That's what I always called them. Is that right? I don't know. So what we have here is another bust 38 for McCall's post pattern letter G. I wonder if we can get the whole alphabet by the time we're done. All right. Here we have house dress. All right. Simplicity 9722. This is a large, so you're looking at a 16 to 18. This has got raglan sleeves. Oh, this is interesting. So there's their raglan sleeves at the top, and then they have they finish with either a flare out or an elasticated waistline. So that's actually kind of cute. It's a zip front, which is always nice, and pockets. What's funny is that these were made all the time, and I find them in thrift stores all the time, and no one wants them. Let's see, what is 16 to 18? That's not helpful. So bust 38 to 40 for this one. And this one's 72 probably. Dang it, 71. Eventually one of these days I will get so good that I won't need that. Um, why is the 16 to 18 equal a large? Because pattern companies suck at sizing thing, but they collectively suck at sizing thing because they all decided to do it together. I have a whole video on it. You can go watch that about why the pattern companies are ridiculous. And then I think Abby Cox did one about um, uh, like overall sizing, like going back 500 years. And then Nicole did one recently about why ready to wear sizes were doomed to fail or something. So we there, there's a lot of us that have commented on sizing. <laughs> it's It's a little bit of a nightmare basically is what we're all saying. We're all go, everyone's screaming for the same thing and the pattern and the companies are like, no, we're good. We're just going to keep doing what we want to do. All right, here we go. About halfway through box one here, friends. So this is Simplicity 9170. It is again, she must've really dug that tunic pants setup. You're looking at a tunic front with a very big tab accent. Uh, pants. Oh, or you can make it the dress length as well. This one is a bust 38 and a waist of 29. Kind of cute. Not my, not my favorite, but it's the same fisheye dart situation. Do, 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 do. Hey, a men's pattern. Woohoo! We have a men's tie waist shirt with an extremely large collar. Although it says size 16, so I'm not sure if that's going to be... This is one of the unisex patterns that came out in the 70s. Uh, let me see if that's the women's sizing or the men's sizing for a 16. No, definitely men's. Wait, what? Okay, it says size 16 on the front. And yet gives me all the men's sizing in the back. Normally when it gives me a size... It's like an, it says neck size. So this might be a 42 to 44 inch chest. Let's see if the pattern says anything different because that's really annoying. And I want to give you guys the sizes as I find them, but it's not helpful if the pattern doesn't make it clear. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, that's good. So they misstocked this. This is the women's version in a bus 38 not the men's version. So they, I don't know what the heck they did. Is it the right number? 
Like, what is happening here? This is... 6436. No, that's the right size. All right, but this is definitely a miss. I agree, Brian. A 16 normally is a 42-inch chest, but um, not this. They put... This is a women's pattern in a men's envelope, which... Because for these unisex patterns, they would make both envelopes. So they would make the women's version and the men's version. But they also normally above the 16 would have like miss or like it would say men's chat. Like, I don't, somebody was, somebody was having something that day. All right. Here we go. Simplicity 7548. Oh boy. Secret shorts. Rachel's got secret pants. We've got secret shorts on this channel because how many times have I found culottes? <laughs> so this is a bust 38. Uh, and at this point, the waist is probably a 29 or a 30. I will look in just a moment. It does look like you can, can do Bermuda shorts as well for this lovely. Oh, that's probably really annoying. Why don't I get rid of that? There you go. No, I don't want example banners. Thank you. Um, I don't know if you can do the blouse. Let's find out. I'm going to focus blouse, jacket, skirt, skirt or pants set and shorts. You can do that for a skirt. All right. So apparently you can do a pleated front skirt or the weird little culotte situation. Yep. Okay, great. Why not? <laughs> I, Cause like right there, there's a very clear split. If anyone wants to buy this from me and make it, please let me know what is happening with this uh, culotte situation. Because that is weird. All right. Ugh. Oh, goody. Front. Sure. I don't know what that's for. Eh. Okay. Oh, it's just a weird way they drew it. Okay, so this is McCall's 3593. You're looking at a bust 38. This is going to be a completely like placketed front dress. Uh, you can either do maxi or midi with another large collar. This is definitely going to be 70s. Mm, 73. And it does have a slight back yoke as well. 70s stack is getting tall. Are we surprised? A little. I was really hoping for more 50s, but oh well. Oh, and then we have that. All right. Butterick. 5078. Hmm. That's a trench. Yeah. It's definitely a trench. It's got some raglan sleeves, really large pockets, button front trench. Uh, no hood on this one. And a it is a size. Let's see. Size 18. Is a bus size 40. Don't ask. I'm weird. Uh, and this one's going to be probably late 70s, early 80s. That cusp right there. And cool. That goes to something. Oh, maybe that's that pattern that had a... Yeah, I bet you that's the pattern that was MIA earlier. 8216 might be what that giant stack was that we found earlier. Let's put that with that so I, I can investigate that later. Next up, oh, goody, goody gumdrops. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. Uh, McCall's 2721. That is some 90s realness right there. It is a size 20 through 24 for these sets of blouses. Uh, it's not the worst thing I've seen. Um, oh, I was wrong, 86, okay. Uh, not much better, but there you go. 86. And the 20 to 24 is going to be a bust 42 to 46 range. Okay, moving on. Oh, all right. Eh, there we go. McCall's 8670. You're looking at a bust 46 on this one. Um, and Jen, unfortunately, that answer is yes. Courtesy of Etsy. You can blame Etsy for the fact that people count that as vintage now. So, yes. Yes, it is. Do I do I agree? No, because I lived through that. But, okay. Uh, anyway, so this is going to be... Let's see. We got a jacket, a pullover, pants, a dress, 
Ah, this is a lot. Oh, wait a minute. Mm, okay. So for those of you that are new to McCall's, or some, really anybody, right there, pants, skirt, and blouse not included. I really hate when they do that. So let's tell you what's actually in here. So this is a coat dress, shirt, jacket, dress, jumper, and tie belt. So you can make all the over things, all the really big pieces here, okay? But none of the rest of it. And this was a size bus 46 for this one. Ugh, I hate when they do that. I really hate when they do that. <laughs> Sorry, got really frustrated. All right. Hey, look, we found letter B. All right. Um. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. One of these days, if I can actually talk to the pattern executives and try and understand their logic, I would love to do that because I don't understand a lot of this. And I'm like, wh why? Anyway, so we're looking at post serials, letter B here. This is a bust 38 as well. I do actually like the, the, um, wow, words. I have them, I swear. Color blocking, there it is. And the little raised neckline. Now what's interesting is that you can, if you can sort of see here, she has a slit and then there's buttons. So it looks like there's an option to kind of make it look as if it's buttoned on the side, but I can almost guarantee it's button center. Yeah, zip center back. Yeah. I wanna say that they think it's styling like in a magazine, but it's not and it's annoying. You guys ready? I don't know if I'm ready because I'm excited. I only see the back of this envelope and I'm excited. One, two, three. Oh, okay. That's not as I got really excited. I was like, oh, 50s Vogue, yes. It's a skirt. It's a cute skirt. It's a cute skirt. We're not going to say it's not, but it's just a skirt. <laughs> Dang it. All right. So we've got Vogue 7126. Upside, it is a waist 30. And I will move this because I don't think you can see it. There are actually those fan pleats in the front to, or sorry, they go this way. Boop. That's, that makes me look like the creepy thing from that one a Guillermo movie. I'm going to stop doing that now. Um, but here, let me show you. So they have those type of pleats, which is really nice. And all types of pencil writing on the back. And the hip is 39 on this one. Yeah, see, disembodied legs. Like, this just tells you, hey, look, you're getting a skirt. <laughs> oh, film what? Like a weird Guillermo movie? No, please. That's, no, no. That, I'm already creeped out by weird movies. All right, moving on. Oh, okay. Another good straight skirt here. This one is McCall prior to the S, 7275. This is also a waist 30. So whoever this is must have really tried to collect the larger sizes. Oh, the executive. Oh no, if I can get, if I can get a hold of one of them, I, sorry, that sounded really, really intense. Uh, if I can find one of them that's willing to talk to me nicely and calmly with very little sarcasm, I promise. Um, yes, I will absolutely record the crap out of that for y'all. Anyway, back to this. McCall, 7275, which means that this is dated prior. Yep, 48. Yes. Pri I, I want to say the latest one I've seen that is just McCall is from 51. Oh, man. I know I've looked this up before, and I don't remember the exact date. But it's just a nice straight skirt. Nothing terribly, like, nothing, like, floor me about it. But it's still, it's a good size, and it's real cute. Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. Here you go. Ain't that nice. Hey, uh, Jennifer, you in the chat? You want another secret sewing? Uh, I've got a secret sewing for you because I have no idea what this crap is. <laughs> She's probably not. I'm just joking. I don't think she was coming to the live today. Um, but for those of you that haven't caught that video yet, we did a secret sewing where we basically sent each other... Oh. Uh, we sent each, that wasn't to her. That was to the pattern that I just pulled out. Uh, we sent each other mystery packages and made them all up. It was really quite fun. Uh, all right. So this is Butterick 4702. This is another family circle. This is just a pretty standard shirtwaist dress. 
button front. You can either do it with a collar, without a collar. Uh, you're a size 22 at least, so that's good. I'm going for the positive here, friends. It's 87. I'm trying. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, right. Okay, so this at this point for Butterick, if you're ever looking for sizing, you're in the flap. That's where it is. So this is also a bust 46 for this family circle. Whee! At least they're big sizes. I'll take that. I, okay. Wow, that's a, anyone looking for a collar? Anyone need a collar with its own zip code? Uh, <laughs> this is butter 4641. Wow, okay. At least it's a size 18 and a half. Um, let's go ahead and see what, what does that mean? That means it's a bus 41. And you do actually get all of the pieces. So you get the vest, the pants, the shirt, and the skirt. Profound Scooby vibes. Absolutely it is. <laughs> all right. That's, that's a thing that happened. Stop staring at it. Move on. No, no, not this stupid thing again. Hi, I'm Simplicity, and I think I know what reproducing a pattern is. Their first version. Uh, oh, my God. Okay. Simplicity 9390, do we need to say anything else? No, 9360, I can't say words, because I... It's a 14 to 20. Okay, great. You know... Hmm. I literally hate this pattern so much. But I wonder. Anybody else wonder? 60 years. 28? Re really? Or are we just saying of your company? Because... Oh, you know, now I feel like I need to see if this comes from an actual vintage pattern and line these bad boys up. Because this was really like one of their, okay, this wasn't their first attempt at a reproduction because they've been doing like centennial stuff and costumey things for quite some time. Like that's not a new thing. But the number of people that think that, oh, so, okay, so here's here's why. People think this is actual 1930s. Because got like some people just don't know and they look at the front and they go, oh yeah, that sort of looks like 1930s and look at the writing. That looks like 1930s. So it must be from the 30s. That's a no. This is from the 80s. So there's that. But yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why. It's just because, oh, Jen, if I can find out which pattern that is, if it's a real pattern and not just some like, amalgamation of executives brains, then I will absolutely do that for y'all. All right. Simplicity. We're just going to move on. It's fine. Simplicity 6178. We are looking at size 16 bus 38, and this is a maternity top. So it's actually got kind of nice lines, believe it or not. Like it's got a flutter sleeve, front button pockets. You could do like a modified sweetheart. Those are all pretty cute little, cute little details for that little maternity top. Yeah, not bad. 73. Means you're going there. Okay. And here we go. All right. Very easy, very vogue. 9546. Am I seeing this right? A waist 37? What? Um... Okay, that's not even a size I knew they went up to. Oh, holy monkeys. This one would have gone up to a waist 41 and a half, y'all. That's great. Holy cow. Wow, that's really awesome. Huh, okay, Vogue, I see you. Oh yeah, definitely strong Charlie's Angels. And this is just the pants. So when you see that it's waist 37, just the pants by itself. That's okay. All right. Respect. All right. Fine. I'll just take this one. What is this one? Oh, yeah. 
80s. Hello. How are we doing? Mm, fuss free fit. This is going to be a simplicity 5664. Oh, I, I still have Charlie's Angels highlighted. <laughs> uh, you're looking, it's just a good old jacket pattern. That's all. Uh, and then bonus, let's see, what does it say? Include special, oh, include special chart on how to work with plaids. So that is actually useful if you want a really nicely lined up jacket. So I, I'll give them that. But that one is up 20, which means it is going to be a bust 42 for this one. And the box is really far away from me now. Well, the patterns are, not the box. You knew what I meant. All right, this one. Oh, now there's a shadow. Not helpful. Sort of. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, unstructured jackets, I think, are coming back. So here's the pattern for it. Uh, we're looking at Vogue 9201. 9201. It is a size 18 to 22. Winner, we like large patterns. Let's see if it's just the jacket. No, it's the... Okay, so you can do this whole outfit. So it's going to be the, both of the jackets, the skirt, and the pants. And those sizes, again, you're looking inside the flap. Oh, sorry. Which is going to be a bust 40 to a bust 44. So if you like unstructured jackets, this is for you. It also feels factory folded, which is fantastic because I don't like to check 80s patterns. <laughs> I really don't. All right. I'm going to lay them all down so I can't get a sneak peek. Bam. Oh, cute. The Molly Parnas one. I've had, I think I have another one of these sitting around somewhere. So this one's got a little tab accent, button accent, high collar. And this is a bust 38 for McCall's N1092. Just a nice, like, fun shift dress. I like it as a bust 38. I think the last one I found was a bust 32 and a half. And this one is 60, nope, 70. This is 1970. All right. Almost the end of box one, friends. And yes, we do have two boxes to do today. Now we have just landed on Simplicity 9206. Looking at a bust 38. This entire box, you guys. Entire box has been bust 38. Yes. So happy. Um, I do like the stripes down the front. That's really nice. Uh, you also do have the pants as well. And you can do, it says mini length down here in the little notation. That's cute. Oh, that's from the 70s also. And what do we have here? We have some type of weird thing. What is that? That's wrong. Some type of family circle insert. Oh, God, does this go with those terrible patterns that we found earlier? <laughs> oh, y'all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The knit, the chunky knit sweater layered with a jacket and the matching skirt. Yes, ma'am. You do you. You do you. They're stapled together. That's not helpful for me to showcase these ridiculous things. Oh my gosh, y'all. That's, wow. It's a lot happening there. And then we got some, some menus. Sure. Okay, that's enough of that. That was, I just had to share that because that was hilarious. Eh, put that over there. All right, now this is what I was actually aiming for. Oh, hey, we've seen that before. Simplicity, 5877. You're looking at a bus 38. This is just a good shirt waist dress. And what I like about these is they're the how to sew patterns. So these are going to give you way more instructions and they're trying to be more clear. So if you're looking for a good entry pattern, anything with the how to sew or Jiffy label, those are going to be a little bit more accessible and more explained. So I do, I do like this one. It's just a really good solid pattern. And it feels, it feels complete. It's used definitely. Do, 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 do. But I will definitely check that if somebody wants it because that's one of those, it's like, I would want it to be correct. So that way you're not starting off your sewing journey with a pattern that's not complete. <laughs> that's great. I've actually, I found some in Florida, shockingly, and they find new homes really quickly, which is kind of amazing to me. All right, what do we got? Oh, I've had this one before. This one is cute. I like this skirt. Sorry, it's really wrinkly because it was in the box. Oh my God, what number are you? 
Five one one three. There it is. Hang on. Let me I'm gonna flatten it out here. All right. That didn't help for you at all, but you can at least see the pattern. So McCall's five one one three. It is a size twenty. It is a waist thirty four. Anybody else excited by it? No, just me. Okay, great. Um, I like this one. Um, for those of you, let's see, how many gores does that one have? Because view A and B are really nice flow. This one's also from the 70s. So for those of you that had reached out to me that are trying to recreate like the standard pattern that Rachel uses, um, this could possibly be a very good option for that. From what I can tell, this is also an eight gore skirt. So if you were to lengthen, you can see here these panels. If you were to lengthen them down just straight, this would probably be a good dupe for the Rachel skirt. So, and a waist 34 and it's factory folded. We love those things. All right. Oh no. Oh, you guys. Oh wait, hang on. Hang on. Are you ready for this? <laughs> they liked it so much that they bought the pattern and then kept the magazine. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. Okay, all right, I've had my moment. That was that was hilarious. Uh, this is Butterick. 4039. It is a large, extra large. So it's a larger bust size again. We love that. And that means, hang on, large, extra large is a 2022, which means it is a bust 42 to 44. Um, if you would like this, I will include the magazine clipping so that you too can cackle just like I did. You're welcome. Oh, uh, I think it's factory folded. It's just a really thick pattern. Um, I don't, let me look, because I, I am wondering if she liked it that much, she might have. No, no, she never did. Look at that. Like that's, that's never been touched. So she bought them. She kept the magazine. She never made them. It's kind of sad. I mean, let's be real. I probably do the same thing. I don't have factory folded uh, New York Vogue's from the 1950s that I keep saying I'm going to use and haven't touched because I'm scared to factory unfold them. No, no, of course not. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one's cute. All right. This little slightly torn guy here. Here, I'll move that. This is Butterick 6027. You're looking at a bust 38. This is going to be like that, that big maxi. And you can do a color block center front as well. And it's basically a giant rectangle right right down your your front there uh and it does look like yeah it does have the pants as well hooray cute okay and then what is this um i hate when they do that it's like that weird um paper towel but not paper towel paper it oh just Ugh. Ugh. I don't want to touch it, but I know I have to touch it so I can get it out of there. Blech. Okay. And that, my friends, end of box one. Bam. Isn't it, do we need a water break or we just want to keep on going? Like a, like a stand up and come back in five minutes thing or let me know. Type it in. I'm going to take a drink of water. I'll wait. <laughs> Alright, so y'all are still good? I'm fine. We're only we're only at an hour. My very first one was like three hours long. <laughs> Alright, we got one go for it. We got one water break. Keep going, keep going. Okay. I'm I'm fine. Y'all can when it out, rewind me. I'm not going anywhere. Oh well, hello. We're happy you're here. We just got done with box one. We were polling to see if folks want to just keep, I mean, I'm going to do the second box. I just needed to see if people want to stand up and walk away for a second, but it's sounding like no. So I'm going to grab the second box then. Oh, all right. Okay. So. Oh my God. 
All right, I'm just gonna try and change the angle and not have to like, all right, look away if you get seasick for a second. Okay, so here we go. So this is our determination of what do we think this box will be? If you're just joining us, hi, welcome, we're glad you're here. Um, we have learned that 1950s was a loose term because currently my stack of 1950s is approximately six patterns and the majority of them are 1970s. So here we go, let's find out what's in box number two together. Oh boy, answer not 1950s. <laughs> That's all right. We don't turn away patterns when they're offered to us, but we just know that that mostly is not, that's not mostly 1950s. This is either gonna be uh, C and so, stretch and so, or the um, Dolores of what's her nugget, St. Paul something. Yeah, 70s again, absolutely. Yep, we're, we're in for some more 70s friends. Buckle in folks, here we go. All right, all right, again, look away. If you get seasick, I'm just gonna adjust down. You can see my very dirty tablecloth, ain't it lovely? And by tablecloth, I mean bed sheet. I don't know what you're talking about. And why are you moving? I don't know. Cause you're a piece of junk. That's why, do da, do da. All right, so let's just keep going. And we are starting off something with McCall's 2467, which is one of those um, smocking patterns that you could use to make a pillow. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I never really list these. So if you want it and are already buying something from me, dear God, just take it. I have like 14 of these stupid things and I can't get rid of them. So, oh, Shelly, it's, uh, I've been doing this for 10 years and for the first like year I was wrong a whole lot of the time. So I basically sat and studied the vintage pattern wiki far more than I should have and that's, that's why I am where I am now, that I can just basically look and I can tell you. Uh, yeah, a little too much nerdery on my end, basically. Oh, okay. I don't hate that. All right, that's not a good angle for you guys, is it? Hang on. All right, look again, seasick people, look away. We're gonna bring it down. That's where we were before, right there. So this, if it doesn't move, yeah. Butterick 5354. Oh, darn. Oh, well, not oh, darn. Not oh, darn. The first box was almost entirely plus sizes or 38 and up. So we're not going to say oh, darn, because we have plenty of patterns over in my stack over there that are bust up. Bust up? What? I'm just, it's a bus 33. It's a nine junior petite. So if you are a junior petite lady that has, you know, the shorter stature, shorter waist, this is more for you. It is tucked all along the front with the thin straps. And it looks like pockets and that's from the 70s yeah so the nine junior paint is a bus 33 for this for this one did i say that i don't know if i didn't there you go you got it you got it now all right what do we got now oh goody i actually haven't seen this one in my possession before but i've seen it this is mccall's 6257 this is another one of those multi-line blues um pillow patterns you can make this little like cross design um again not something i'm probably going to list on my website because i have far too many to list so again if you're already buying something from me and you like this one just tell me hey i want to add that in and i'll give it to you for free i'm not going to look at it but i'm going to give it to you for free because i just i cannot be bothered <laughs> i do some craft patterns but not those oh thank you that's very sweet it's the only makeup i put on because i was too hot in life today so seemed not lined. I think so. Hang on. I'll double check for you real quick. Do, do, do. Yeah, front tucks. So those are actually going to be like tucks of fabric and not just top stitching. No, oh, dear. Okay. Well, there's the McCall, the, the simplicity version of that. 53, 40, one size pattern. Again, you can do the little ruffle bits. Although I'm telling you right now, this feels real thin. Like, I don't think there's... Yeah, there's really nothing in here. So that's just enjoy. If anyone wants artwork for your wall, this is one of those that I would say it's okay to frame up and put on your wall because there's nothing in there, really. And it's a pillow pattern. Nobody really makes pillows. At least I don't. 
Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Simplicity 59 for no 5494. Do 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 do. Um those are some cafe curtains. Absolutely they are. Wow. Okay. It's a one size. So let me see on the back here if I can figure out what size. Fits windows up to 40 inches wide. So there you go. Uh, it's been used. I might check this one. I don't find cafe curtains all that often. So when I do that one, I actually probably, I would probably put up. Or if somebody wants it, just let me know. Ooh, goody. What is happening here? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, this doesn't ner make me nervous. Oh, wait, yeah, it sort of does. Yike. Oh, God. There's pattern pieces in there. That's terrifying. Great. So this is a pinafore pattern for a little girl. Oh, my word. <gasps> okay, you guys cannot see that. Hang on. Look at how cute that is. Oh, my gosh. So cute. Holy crap, what size is this? Okay, so it's been cut at a size 6, and that does not feel complete. Oh, that's because they don't give you the skirt panels. They just give you the measurements here on the back. They just tell you what size. And it's a, I think the only pattern pieces they give you are the front and back bib and all the rest are just measuring. But they're mainly rectangles, so it's not really that big of a deal. Except for the ruffle, that's part, that's problematic. Um, is there a ruffle piece? I don't think there's a ruffle piece in here. Oh, well, that, we'll just, we'll just see. We'll see what happens there, but that's really cute. Um, I don't think it has the transfer though, which is really sad. No. You can see here where it's sort of torn away. No, you can't. There, you can sort of see it now. It's torn away, so all of the uh, cute factor is somewhere possibly in this box. But I don't know. I don't see it. And then this is just a pair of instructions for 6468. So we're going to set that aside, and hopefully I'll find 6468 and put them back together again. Oh, all right. Oh, we'll speak of. We're bus 41. Hey, this is Vogue 8254. And this is going to be, thankfully, Vogue did the correct thing and should actually give you all the pattern pieces. For the jacket, the skirt, you can do a sleeveless jacket, the vest situation here, pants, and the skirt. So that's really sweet. I like that it's a bus 41. We like bus 41s in this house. Because that's in my range that I can scale up from. Will I make that? No, absolutely not. I'll put that on my website. But <laughs> I, I don't, that's not my vibe at all. Oh, I like, oh, darn it. Okay. Yep. So I've had this one. I think, didn't we unbox this one in the last one too? This was a really popular pattern. I love finding this pattern because it normally finds a home really fast. But this one is a bust 31 for simplicity 7310. The only upside is that I will say, if you're in the range of like six inches from this, you could basically pick any other slip dress that you have as a pattern and just use this tent dress because they made it substantially larger for a reason. So to make it floaty and you could easily size that up. So, cause that's a bus 31. Cause like these are the pattern pieces, really very oversized, really super simple just to scale that up. Even my silly self could do that. And that's from 68, I think. Arr, 67, eventually. Like I said, eventually, I will get these years spot on. We are not there today. Eh. Other way. Butterick, 6622. This, whoever this was, really enjoyed outfit patterns, like as a whole. So you're looking at another bust 41. Yes, we like that. Jacket. Short skirt, maxi skirt, vest, shorts, and pants. So you have the whole outfit. So it's a bust 41. Let me find the waist for y'all. Do, 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 do. 34. So a waist of 34 on this one. So that is very cute. Da, da, da. That's, again, like that late 60s, early 70s vibe. Oh, boy, y'all. Um... I'm seeing lots of instructions. And that always makes me nervous. Here, let's just, I'll show you what I'm seeing. This is what I'm seeing. One, ew. Um, okay, that's gotten something on it. And I will need to wash my hands because ew. 
And yeah, I'm going to guess that this is the back of... Oh, no, it is the front of it. Oh, well, that's a bummer. So the instructions are gross. Is the pattern envelope gross? Yeah, a little. Okay. Yep, we'll be washing our hands, and this will not be going to anyone, because um, it is it is poncho. Um, it's a bus 31 and a half, but I will tell you now, that is not water that you're seeing there. So, ew. I'm going to put that over here, because unfortunately, that is not... I do not... I do not sell patterns that have excrement on them, and that is what that is. So, nope, no, no, that's, I will see if the pattern pieces are salvageable, and maybe I can scan the instructions if somebody really wants them. So, but just so you know, I don't look for that on my website. It's not going there, because no, we don't do that. Water, on occasion, if there's not mold or mildew, absolutely. But because that that's the stuff that I can like put it in the freezer and get it cleaned off. But that no, nope, nope, don't sell that. Nope, nope. Anyway, moving on after that lovely moment. Uh, <laughs> Simplicity 3377 is from the 1950s. So hooray, that's cute. It's just a good little um, pajama pattern. And it looks like it buttons on the front and the back. Uh, and I think it has feet on one of the versions. It does. Actually, you know what? That's not a that's not a bad idea. So, friends, we're gonna take a little pause here. Just a quick pause. And I'm gonna go wash my hands. That's a that's a really good idea. So y'all chat amongst yourselves, say hello, and I will be right back with clean hands because ew. Well, hello. Okay, clean hands. Sorry, that was just, Jen said it and I was like, yeah, no, that needs to happen like now because the longer I thought about it, the grosser that got. <laughs> okay, hi, hi, welcome, hello, I'm back. Um, yes, that was... Oh, that coffee. Oh, I would let that got cold. What? <laughs> oh yeah, if um we'll just do a quick reminder of if you want any of the patterns, make sure that you are oh where's my where are my banners? Those. Make sure you are emailing me here and I will happily work with you. And remember it's always first come, first serve. Um as we can see, most of the stuff is gonna be like three dollars unchecked, five dollars if it's factory folded. Okay, I know this is 70s, but I don't care. You guys, look at those pants. Oh my gosh. Oh man, those are good. Holy cow. Now this is Simplicity 5310. You're looking at a bust 32 and a half, a waist 25. But my God, look at that skirt. Look at that flow. Holy cow. And those pants. I don't know if it comes with the shirt or not. Let's see. Oh, it does. It does. It comes with the little, comes with the, sh the shirt as well. Oh, that's cute. Speaking of people that are looking to do Rachel skirt, this is the swoosh I'm talking about here, y'all. Because the width of lower edge on this one is 190 inches of skirt. You want swoosh? This is your swoosh right here. Oh, it's so good. 72 for that one. 
All right. Oh, cute. I've had this one before. Had, have this one? Don't know. Uh, in my shop. It's McCall's 8702. It's a waist 32. Very nice. This one's got the really nice, good, big patch pockets on the front. Uh, although I'm going to tell you right now, it feels a little thin and that makes me nervous. I mean, it's only six pieces, but it's really, it's very thin and that makes me very nervous. Like, I don't know if it's actually in there. So we'll look at that. But this one is from 51. Oh. Okay, moving on. Oh, hi. Hi. Wait, did somebody say Christina showed up? <gasps> hi. Hi, friend. I know she was having connectivity issues earlier. Oh, all right. So this is that like jiffy, not quite tent dress situation. This is Simplicity 7689. You're looking at a medium, which is a 12 to a 14. So it's probably 34 to 36 inch bust. Yep, sure is. Waist 25 and a half to 27. This is going to be really simple. It's three pieces. This is another one of those that is going to be really easy to scale up. So for those of you that are just learning, this Jiffy would be a good starting point. I prefer, I honestly say to beginners, start with a Jiffy or a how to sew vintage pattern because they're going to have more instruction and be clearer than those modern messes. But that is because I like vintage patterns better. So for those of you that prefer modern patterns, there is no shade thrown in this group toward modern patterns unless it's a reproduction and they just did it poorly. We're not throwing it at you for using them. So all of my ire is to the companies, not to the humans. We don't do that. No, no. No, no. All right, I've got a mess. I don't know what this mess is. So here we have some Anna Adams pattern from, the nice part about these is they start to get dated. So 1970 is when this one is from. And I don't know what I'm looking at. So let's bring it over here. Come here. What are you? Oh, all right. That's not helpful. You, I'm moving too much there. So this is cute. There's a little, is it a wrap dress? Might be a wrap dress. Or maybe it's just a tab front accent. I don't know. But that's cute. It's a but it's a size 16, which probably means for this time frame, you're looking at a bust of 38. Correct. And the waist is a 29 for this one. Oh, nice. It's two pieces. All right. So that either means it's going to be a pain in the butt or super easy. It can go either way. <laughs> oh, y'all, I had to finish this coffee. It's so bad. I let it get cold, really cold. <clears throat> That's not good. All right, random things. What do we have? Oh, look, cute. Wait, that's not the same. That's not the same. <clears throat> it's close, but that's not the same. Nifty. Okay, so this is just the newspaper clipping. I think they were thinking they were getting this one and got the other one instead. But that's cute. I'll send that along with that piece. <clears throat> and now there's something in my throat. Oh yeah, that stupid walk away dress. Oh, that thing, it deserved to burn in that fire. That's the only one that like, if I get a down vote because I burned something, I earned it and I don't care. <laughs> anyway, okay, what do we got? We're not talking about me burning things anymore. That was a one-time deal. Uh, we don't actively encourage burning. What am I looking at, you guys? What in the world? Phase fabric sewing update and specials. This is not a pattern. I was thinking it was. 10% off coupon expires 5187. Think we can care in it and try and go get them to use it? Oh, how to bows. Oh, cute. And then a really old ad for a baby lock. There you go. Cute. So there's like four bow, like how to bows on this side. That's why they kept it. All right. Let's see. Where was this? We just returned home from the National Home Association's market in Las Vegas. Great. Where are you from? Lewistown, Montana. Anybody know if that's still around? Anybody, any Montana folks here? That's kind of cute. All right. We're going to show you what I'm staring at. Just kind of terrifying. Again, more of that. 
So this one at least has the decency to write the number on it. So this is Butterick 3474, whatever that went to. Jeans, a front, slacks. Uh, for those of you just joining us, this lady was a big fan of tracing things and using the tracings. So that's what we keep finding these random stacks of things. I might make those eventually just for, you know, content. Next up. Oh, no, that's cute. That's really cute. This is McCall's 4052 uh, shirt, jacket, top, and pants. So that this cute little tie top for the summer is included. This is a bus 40. Hey, we like that. Oh, my gosh. I would make it just for the shorts and the top, personally. Because Florida. Let's see. For the waist, for those of you that want to know, it's going to be a 32-inch waist on this one. That is cute. That's very cute. Uh, it's 70-something. 70, 70 74. 74. Moving on. And here we have Simplicity 5983, which is going to be another bus 38. This is different. So I can't tell if this little double tie situation is attached to the blouse or not. But there is definitely two V-necks, not V-necks, two V-seams, one basically across the bus and one basically right pointing down to the waist. Could either do good things or bad things. Unclear until it's made up. Uh, but yeah, that's cute. And it does come with the blouse as well. So you do have the option for blouse and or dress. Not bad. And that is from 70 something, 73. Purple equals seventies normally. Oh, cute. This is late fifties, early sixties, Butterick. Butterick 9110. And it's a bust 38. This is going to, I think this is a proper suit pattern, like a Jackie O suit. Because you've got the sheath skirt, the straight jacket that's collarless. You can also do a pleated skirt. And I'm guessing the blouse doesn't come with it, more than likely. No. Oh, no, it does. It does. You can make the blouse. So you can do the blouse, the jacket, or the skirt in two styles. That's nice. And that is a bust 38 for that one. That is very pretty. Moving swiftly along. To McCall's 8305. This is just a really nice, simple dress. It's a bust 38. You're going to have two really long curved darts here along to help form that waist right along the center. And a bow right down personally where I wouldn't want it. But hey, I'm probably not going to make this. So it's fine. I still enjoy the bow, but I like the bows when they're up top and not down where I'm trying to draw people's eyes away from. That's just me, though. And this one is from 66. Y'all, the 70s stack is precarious over here, and everything else is like, yeah, we're cool, we're fine, what's up? Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm I'm at bare minimum streaming at 720. <laughs> 10, 144, or what, am I just, like, pixels? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. oh, 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 hi, I should pay attention to what I just found, shouldn't I? I was so distracted. Sorry, y'all. All right, so this envelope is a little crunchy. Ma, it still looks cute. So this is Butterick, a number that I cannot see. 9606, I think is what that said. I'm sorry, hang on. We gotta, gotta, get, gotta get the number figured out here. Yes, 9606 is the number. There we go. Now, my distinct number, my number, we were talking about resolution, I'm stuck on number. My distinct hope is that it includes all these bits. And I think it does. Because I think right here, those nice little line drawings, is a top and a, and a bottom set. Probably a swim set with a beach. Oh, I'm a dirty liar. Lounge and sleepwear. I'm sorry. Sure. I'm not sleeping in that. But I mean... Why not? <laughs> it is a bus 38. So if somebody wants this, this is again, this is late fifties, early sixties for this set. That is cute. All right. Oh no, more people. Oh goodness. Well, I'm glad that it's getting fixed. Oh my. Okay. That's some ruffles right there. Butterick number. I can't read 5518. 
You're looking at a bus 36 on this one. And these are definitely just nightgowns. Oh yeah. Puff sleeve nightgown with a ruffle robe. Okay. I know Calico got used like that fake, that faux quilter stuff got used for regular clothing. I know because I saw my mother use it and I saw photos of it. Did you, did, was it actually used in nightwear too? Cause this lady definitely has, um, has it on, but I, I don't remember that. My grandmother had that robe forever, forever and ever, forever and ever. That was my grandmother's robe. I can tell you just by the ruffle around her wrist. <laughs> uh, did I say this is a bus 36? It's a bus 36. And that's again, that's actually going into the sixties for Butterick. Uh, all right. Butterick 3960 more pajamas. This one's a large yoke two piece pajama set or short or long nightgown. This is a size large for Butterick 3960. It's very possible that everybody's grandma had that robe. It's very possible. Um, and that means that your bust is going to be 38 to 40. That's cute. That's again, that's, this might be 70s. Unfortunately, Butterick didn't start dating theirs until like the 80s. So a lot of the times for us, it's like, oh, let's go look at a catalog because we don't know. Hello, what? Uh, you email me at the same email and we can chat if there are things that you would like to find new homes for. Absolutely. Yes, I always, I do always take patterns even though I did just reorganize my entire cabinet and I realized that it's almost full. So that's why I've been doing Instagram sales. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, Backroom Finds, follow me there because I keep doing story sales because I keep finding more boxes. <laughs> All right. I didn't realize we needed to make potato sacks into a pattern. Butterick 3302. Um, is a medium, 14 to 16. It has pockets. It's from the 60s. Uh, it's a robe or a cover-up. Sure, that's what we're calling it. Okay, why not? Potato sacks with arms. What size are you? 34 to 36. Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to throw quite so much shade, but that's just, there's a lot happening with that. Like, okay, let's dive into whatever these things are. Okay, men's patterns. So knit and stretch. Men's pullover. And we are looking at the entire range, small to extra large, designed for sweater fabric only. You can see there it's that nice V-neck, or you can do the crew neck, raglan sleeves, and there is no information on the back. And it's sealed. So I will try and find another one of these patterns that I have open to get a size range. But this is normally like 32 and a half to 46 for the guys. Uh, yeah, no, the, the text on that one is pretty cool. And it's number 112. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. And this is 70s, I think. These are hard to tell because sometimes they put the trademark date on it and sometimes they didn't. And if I put that on the 70s pile, it will fall over. All right, let's see what the pink one is. Ladies panties for sew knit and stretch, number 202. It is size 7, 8, and 9. These are going to be the high-waisted panties. And the problem with these is finding the size, like the waist measurement on these is a pain in the you-know-what. So... Hang on, it's normally right on here. Okay, so they did use a tracer wheel, I can see that, but I don't think they cut this one, so that's good. Tracing wheel we can deal with, cutting we can, ew. Ugh, she used that stupid tissue that I hate. Da, da, da. I'm just looking for sizing. Ah, there we go. Waist size 24 to 27 on this one.
Okay. Yep. That's more 70s. Go down there. We're just going to go through the pink and the blues just since they were right there. Hey there. Panty girdle with crotch piece. Sure. Why did we need to call that out? I mean, all right. <laughs> this is so knit and stretch number 206. Looks like we go a small through a large. And someone wrote all the hip sizes, which is 30, 32, 34, and 36. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it is open, so she probably traced it like the last one. Although it's... I'm just going to trust her that the sizing is correct on that, that girdle with the crotch piece that we felt the need to call out. A men's t-shirt. Looks like you can make a ringer shirt here. Because he's got that little accent there and accent there. So you could do a ringer t-shirt with this one. It is so knit and stretch number 309. You're looking at a small through an extra large. This one again has already been opened. But it looks like it partially resealed itself. Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can figure out chest size for you here real quick. Should be on the bottom. Nope, not there. Great. Love that. All right nope okay i'm sorry i don't know the sizing on that one but it's probably gonna be the same as the before 32 to 46 for the guys uh, if anyone is interested email me and we can figure it out don't ask i'm working on it he's seen at least the first two lord of the rings we're working on him in case y'all missed it uh my husband hasn't seen the hobbit that's because he hadn't seen the first three Lord of the Rings. So we've watched one and two, and now we're working on number three. You have seen the other one. Stop arguing with me via text message. <laughs> we're going to move on. So knit and stretch, ladies chemise. They did not come here for a marital argument. They came here for patterns. This is number 211. Is that what that says? Yes, 211. Small, medium, large. Looks like she wrote on there that it goes up to a 40-inch bust on this chemise slip. So this would just be like a good basic if y'all wanted to do that. Um, she has traced it again, but I don't see anything cut off. So that's always good. That's again from the 70s. Oh, and this one she clearly used a lot. So knit and stretch number 213, size 4, 5, and 6, a ladies bikini panty. Um, it is definitely the loosest of all of them. And dear sweet Mer... What? Okay, so knit and stretches don't have this normally. This is an entirely different pattern that has been shoved in here. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Butterick 4814 is hiding in here, friends. It's a bikini pattern hiding in an underwear pattern. <laughs> I don't know what's happening in this envelope. So if you want this one, uh, it's going to take me a second to figure out what exactly is going on because that's a mess. <laughs> okay, moving forward. All right, cute. Simplicity 3319. You're looking at a bust 38. This is going to be a really fitted sheath dress. It does have nice little like soft pleats here at the front to give you some room. It's got a notched boat neckline, short sleeves, Ah, uh, no, wait, those are self sleeves. So those are all one piece. And then there's a little slit at the top to give you a little bit of room for movement and a jacket. That is very cute. Uh, it does definitely feel like it's been used. I can see pinking shears have been used on this lovely little thing right here. That's a lot of pieces, but it is cute. Oh, and the collar, this little collar, that big white collar right there, that's detachable. So that would be why there are so many pieces. Oh, okay. Yep, Butterick 5341. It's a size large. I'm guessing this is probably just the poncho. I could be wrong. Oh my goodness, look at those sleeves. Holy cow, I'm gonna move it over here because y'all, can we just appreciate how epic that sleeve is? I may not like it in the chiffon, but I like large. What size are you? Hang on. 38 to 40. 
I could maybe size this up. It wouldn't probably go terribly well, but that that is an epic number right there. Oh, and the blouse underneath. So this like blouse that you see here, it looks like it comes with that piece as well. And that's from the seventies. Absolutely from the seventies. <gasps> 1950s. Okay, it, my God. Okay, hang on. I don't want to destroy the envelope. <laughs> McCall's 3017. This is a bust 36. Now I get excited just because it's 50s and it actually was supposed to be a box full of 50s. And this is the first 50s we found in this box that wasn't late 50s. However, it's not like holy Moses level of pattern. However, it does have those little diamond cut in sleeves because I don't know what else to call them. But here you can see it goes around the shoulder, points in toward the bust, and then heads in a straight line down. So I really like this. This is cute. It's a bust 36 for those of you that are looking at this one. 3017. But that is cute. That is very, very cute. We like 50s around these parts. <gasps> okay, now all of y'all, I'm going to need you to calm down. Because everybody is looking for these. Okay. <laughs> At least most people are. Why? Because they're a waist 30. This is Butterick 6592. This is like one of the cigarette pants that Butterick uses. So, or that people are looking for because they have the pants. They're a nice fit. I've never heard a bad review about this pattern. And it's a waist 30. So it is available. Absolutely. But like, that makes that's that's awesome because I really love finding this pattern and I love it even more when I can find it in a good size. So this is great. I love it. And the upside is only four pieces, so it's not too hard either. Very cute, very 50s. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. This is cute. This is Advance 8137. I've had this a few times. I love this double breasted dress situation with like the massive collar. Don't ask me why I just do. Um, but I just love the details to this one. And this is an advanced pattern. It's a size 18. And I think at that time, that's going to be a bust 38. Yeah. Cause we changed. So this is a 38, 30, 40 for those of you that are bust waist hip, but yeah, this is really cute. I love this pattern. That's also from the 50s. <laughs> you guys, we finally hit a small stash of 50s. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh yeah, I've had this one before. This is another good one. Butterick 6895. You're looking at a bust 36 on this one, but I love this fitted dress with a notched neckline. And then it has like a little short crop jacket or you can do the longer jacket as well. Do they call it a blouse in this one? Is this the one they call it a blouse? Oh, you also have the cummerbund, right. Cummerbund. No, they still just call it a jacket. It's just two lengths. But yeah, I like this one too. This is cute. Again, 1950s. For those of you that don't know that the little brown butterick always denotes the 50s. And look at some more 50s. Hooray! We love 50s. All right. Simplicity number 3901. This is a bus 36 again. I love these like pop collar with the gathered right below the yoke fronts. We've got buttons exposed or a tab front that'll probably run down the front for this fit and flare. That is very pretty. When you get to see the 35 cents, that's really how you know you've crossed over solidly into the fifties. And a 36 is a 30 inch waist at this point in time, because we still hadn't fully gone back to using all of the undergarments to shape due to rationing. So they still hadn't, they hadn't adjusted the um, sizing just yet. Again, I have a whole video on that that I spent far too long on that if you want to go watch that, go watch that. All right, let's see what do we have here. We have a, what is this? Butterick 3001, your personal A-line fitting pattern. I have never seen this before. Huh. So determine your figure type and pattern size and record your measurements on the chart provided. Follow the step-by-step -step cutting and sewing guide to make your personal fitting pattern in your fabric. Interesting. So this one is a bust of 42, 
that you can supposedly make your own A-line pattern from? Please include and return address to State Farm Insurance. I wonder if we should do that. Uh, <laughs> psycho nurse and a block. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a sloper, a block. But that's just, I've never seen like a pattern designed to, to do the thing. Those aren't words, I'm sorry. Interesting, whoa. All right, that's cool. Huh. And it's a bus 42, so it's not that bad. I'll just put the State Farm thing back in there. So a pattern for a pattern, right? I know that was my thing. I'm like, I mean, I know they had them at the sewing pattern companies, but yours didn't have instructions. If you need the instructions, email me. I'm happy to scan them for you. You might have to poke me a few times to remind me, but I'm always happy to do that. Um, and this is definitely 60s. That's interesting. All right, what else do we have in here? We're, we've got like probably about 15 patterns left. I could be wrong. Uh, okay, Butterick 3002. Look at that, your personal fitting pattern. Which kind is this? So this is the Bust 40. This looks like a... Interesting. So that was a like shift dress. This is more like an A-line, pretty standard, like not, not quite a fit and flare, but close. Huh. Well, how many of these do I have then? I've gone from never seeing them before to having two. Oh, that's some pink right there. My goodness. Simplicity 7161. Bust 38. This is just a good like center front shift dress that you can do. Can you do a collar? No, it looks like there's like a slightly raised collar. You probably have to like interface it to stand it up. That's interesting. It's either short sleeve or sleeveless. Bus 38, Jiffy dress, another good one to start out on. And that is from the 60s. Oh, what are you? Oh my. Hello, early 50s. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Simplicity, 3549, bust 36. Look at those pockets. Now, wait, is that an apron to go with it? Oh, cute. This is going to be probably late 40s because of the 25 cents on the outside. It is. So this is a dress and an apron. Oh, I love that. That is seriously cute. I could seriously stare at 1940s patterns for all day. All day I could do that. And right on back. Okay. Quicksew's version. This is Quicksew 774, size 18 to 22, basic fitting pattern to be used for Quicksew patterns. Professional pattern alterations made easy. Again, I go from never seeing these to having three of them. Two from different companies. I just, okay. And for those of you that are wondering, the bust measurements on this are 41 and a half to 45. Huh. And like, look at all the detail on that. Wow. If I liked the lines better, I would trace it out. But I don't, I, I need more fullness than that. I don't. Why is the lady in yellow pinching the lady? In I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see that until you said it. <laughs> Okay, this is kind of creepy now. Butter 3003. Can we guess what it is? Your personal fitting pattern. What is hat? Like, okay, so size 38, bus 42. Huh. This is very strange. So that makes the third one of these that I've seen. Interesting. I just... I don't, I don't know. I've never seen those until now. All right. Back to some regular patterns. We got Simplicity 7910. This is a, going to be a junior petite size six. So this is a bust 30 and a half. It's that new sizing era. Uh, just a good big yoke nightgown with pockets. Hooray, pockets. Pocketses. And... Babies, simplicity, some number. 
think that's six, seven, six, one. It is a size six month and you probably get all these cute little attributes pieces. That's the word I'm going for. Let me see. Eight, seven, six, one. Sorry. Eight, seven, six, one for this cute little six month. And that is from the sixties. What else? Oh my goodness. Wow. The doll size or is this baby size? It's simplicity. 1443. This is when they upped the price to 50 cents. So, but it has the, it has the stamping of the forties. I am confused. When are you from? No, you're definitely fifties. Yeah. So this is infant. This is infant sizing. So one size for all of this. I think they reproduced this. Somebody actually, I think tagged me in this post because I think they reproduced this exact pattern and they like messed, they like took the hood off and probably, let's be real, if they took the hood off, it was probably for safety for babies, but interesting. And yes, it is absolutely, it is a, a yeah, they are. But then like the cute little dresses are super sweet. But I think this is actually like late 40s, early 50s, even though it was 50 cents. I'm not sure why in God's green creation it was so expensive. But anyway, here we are. Bam. All right. Chadwick. All right. We're looking at McCall's 4322. This is a set of blouses. Oh, no. You can make the hood. <laughs> I love that. And then you've got like, oh, no, that's just the hood draped. There's the collar. Okay. You are looking at a large, and they didn't say what the bust size is, so I will tell you it is a bust 40 to 42. You can make yourself a hooded top for a bust 40 to 42. That's kind of cute. This is from the 70s. 74. Oh, who, where are my guys at? Because, wow, we just got thirst trapped on a pattern. Is that what this is? Again, yes, I'm probably too old to be saying these things. Uh... So this is McCall's 5053. This is going to be an unlined jacket, pants, or shorts. So you get this jacket here, and then either the shorts or the pants. It is a chest size 44. That's from the 70s. 76. We've been thirst trapped by a pattern from 76. All right, here we go. Simplicity 8640. This is a stretch knit time saver. It's going to be a men's 40, 42, and 44. You can either do a short sleeve pullover, a, a sweater vest a la Chandler, or a long sleeve sweatshirt. And that is, oh, they're just straight. Good, so they didn't renumber them. So they really are just a chest 40, 42, and 44. And that is from the late 70s, 78. Again, how long till the stack of 70s falls over? Any moment now. Oh my. Ooh, wow. Patchwork denim, y'all. This is Simplicity 7314. Contain sizes 38 and 40. And this is an entire outfit made of patchwork denim. Whew. Wow. That is a lot. I mean, the plaid is also a lot too. Let's be real. Uh, yeah. Okay. That is from, well, that is upside down. 75. And this is from 1975. I'm just going to put it on the floor because those are going to fall over. All right. We're down to our last few and I'm going to hide them so I don't see them as I pull them out. Men's. Another men's jean suit. Uh, this is Simplicity. 5883. This is a chest 44, a waist of 39. You can do a double breasted jacket. You can do a cuffed pant. And it does look like there's just like a little bit of a bell bottom right now. Uh, it's not one of like the massive ones. So it's not an elephant bell there down at the end. But yeah. Oh, see. And God love you if you're going to try this pattern. That's a lot of pieces. My goodness. So many pieces. What else we got? Oh, and if you want your son to match, cute. Look at that little Western wear there. Simplicity 6122. This is a size six. So you have a chest of 25, a waist of 22. And it says uh, the shirt only. So this shirt is size for stretch knits. Stretch knits. 
hard words. But it has like the little cowboy words that I don't have right now and tiny little bell bottoms. So cute. That's precious. Is that, first, is that the first kids? No, the babies were the first ones, but pretty close to it. Wham. Oh, I love this pattern. This is a cute little holiday apron. 2264. This is going to be one size. But what I love about it is it's the holiday apron that is cowboy themed. So Santa is wearing his cowboy hat. We've got our cowboy hat Santa here. Like he, and in, the guys, of course, says, howdy. <laughs> that is precious. So, and it's two holiday aprons, bib, and potholder mitt for the whole family. And this is from the 50s, if you couldn't tell. What else do we have? Something falling apart. Oh, dear. That is a mess. Uh, this is Simplicity 3053. It's a size two kids robe. However, I'm telling you right now, that is real light. It's also supposed to have the slippers. But I, I mean, this thing barely has anything. So I doubt there's much in here in the ways of anything. It definitely doesn't have the instructions. So if somebody wants a challenge, let me know. Hello, Puerto Rico. Welcome. We're actually almost at the end of our box, but you can always go back and look at all the rest of them. Sweet. Hey, look, more pajamas. Simplicity 2288. This is a size two. So here you have either nightgown, two-piece pajama, and I bet you can probably make the hat. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, you can make the hat. Cute. Cute little kid patterns. All right, what else do we have in here? Almost, almost done. Oh, overalls? Overalls. Size one, torched envelope. My goodness, so torched. So give me a second, I'll figure out the number for you. But this is a simplicity pattern from the 50s. It is an overall pattern for size one. Probably also comes with the jacket blouse situation. And the number is... Oh, masking tape. That's not the number. There's just so much masking tape on this. Yike. 1786. It's also old rubber residue from old rubber bands. This is why, so this, that's why you do not, do not rubber band your patterns because they will eventually melt into the envelope. I mean, that's probably also poor storage plus that, but there's, there's that. Oh God, I just did something terrible. I'm sorry, patterns. Anyway, we're going to look at this one, then I'll fix what I've made. It's so McCall's 3237. This is going to be a size five. Uh, okay, yeah, this is a dress or a smock. So you can do either the maxi dress or the smock length. Yeah, that's that's really cute. That's from the 70s. Again, 70s is... Okay, so here's what I did. Oh, mercy. Well, I mean, I did. The, the envelope was torched, and then... Um, Hmm. I sort of flung it literally everywhere. So I don't know what it is. Oh, it's more pajamas. Okay. So here's all the pieces for it. Oh, good. At least it has the instructions. Hooray. Uh, this is a size six. It's simplicity. I think it says 1785. Yes. So it's a robe or a two piece pajama set size six from the fifties. And it is no side complete. Basically. Is this the last one? Nope. Two more. Hey, oh, another lay it. This is, <laughs> you know that that artist wanted to draw a tiny little baby butt. You know that, right? Uh, we got bibs and jackets and sleepers and all of that. This is Simplicity 3043. And it's, you know, shockingly, it's not in that bad of shape. This is also from the 50s. All right, friends. Last one is the exact same pattern. <laughs> Simplicity 3043. All right. <laughs> Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Well, friends, let's get rid of my pattern cam here. I want to thank you all for joining me today. This has been an absolute blast. I was able to get it through faster than I thought I was going to. Um, as always, if you would like any of the patterns that you saw here today, make sure that you are either emailing me at like the North Country, or you can go ahead and contact me via Instagram. My handle is Backroom Finds. Also, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to see more pattern content like this, don't forget to subscribe. If this is your first time here. Hi, welcome. We do these about once a month. It's not too often, just enough to keep things interesting and make me remember how to do live streams. And I want to thank you all so much. Y'all such a so much. Y'all are such a fun community. That's the words I was trying to say. So I want to say thank you all so much for spending your time with me tonight and or the morning, 
or the crack of dawn for those of you that are of away. And I want to thank y'all so much. And don't forget, stay beautiful, friends. And I will see you uh, next time. Maybe if I end the broadcast.